Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, March the 10th, and it is time for our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O depth of wealth, wisdom, and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are God's judgments, how untraceable are God's ways, the source, guide, and goal of all that is, to God be glory forever. Our morning psalm this morning is Psalm number 5. Listen to these words. Give ear to my words, O Lord, and give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you, and I watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make my way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O Lord. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them back, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a child, as with a shield. Let us give thanks to God. Gracious God, we give you thanks that through the gift of our baptism, you've embraced us as your own and made us one in Christ's body. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, continue to nourish and strengthen us in the ways of faith, hope, and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Our gospel reading today comes from John chapter 8, verses 12 through 20. Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I come from and I know where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid for it is not I alone who judge, but I am the Father who sent me. In your law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. And they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me or my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him, for his hour had not yet come. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. Thanks be to God. Let us go to God in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. God of all mercies, we praise you that you have brought us to this new day, brightening our lives with the dawn of promise and hope in Jesus Christ. And especially we thank you for ministries of discernment and governance, those who teach and those who learn, the community of faith in your church, reconciliation in our relationships, and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. People of God, for what else do we give thanks?
Merciful God, strengthen us in prayer that we may lift up the brokenness of this world for your healing and share in the saving love of Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for the church in Europe, safe, clean, and renewable energy, those who are lonely and forgotten, those from whom we are estranged, the courage to claim your promise in Christ. People of God, for what else do we pray? Eternal God, you are the source of every true gift and the fountain of all blessing. Give us such joy in living and such peace in serving Christ that we may gratefully make use of all your blessings and joyfully seek our risen Lord and everyone we meet. In Jesus Christ we pray, and we pray that prayer he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So far as it depends on us, family, let us live peaceable with all. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Shalom.